Hi, this is our um, arch assignment. I'm going to show you through it um, in a video way so that you can uh, do it on your own with your own bricks. Um, we have hopefully your bricks um, have been made um, and we hope that your bricks were made with flat sides. So um, they should have little flat sides on them uh, because they're going to need to fit up against each other. So there are three architecture assignments. Uh, the first assignment was the arch bricks. Uh, you have made your bricks. Hopefully you have submitted a photo of them in Canvas in the first architecture assignment. Um, the second uh, assignment is gonna be building an arch. Da -da -da. So your bricks are now hard and dry. They should be not soft. Um, and you are ready to proceed. Okay, so um, we will build an arch with these dry bricks uh, without using any glue or moist clay. Um, so you will know, notice these bricks are have flat sides. Uh, they're not really super skinny um, and they are not triangular shaped. So they should have a slight wedge shape to them, um, a slight taper, not down to a point because this side's gonna have to rest on an arch support. So um, you're gonna lay your bricks flat on their side on a piece of paper um, to determine what size and shape your proposed arch will be is gonna be when it's vertical. Um, so um, you can draw a straight line, that's where your tabletop is theoretically going to be. So um, you've got a straight line from side to side and you can start lining up your bricks um, and they should be kind of snug up against each other. Uh, they shouldn't be loose or wobbly. Um, you may have to have extra bricks um, to play around with the shape of this a little bit. Um, I do have some extra bricks there that I probably am not gonna use because um, I ran through this once before and I didn't need all of my bricks. Um, but anyhow, slight arch shape um, and this straight line should run against straight line against the flat part of your bottom two bricks. Then you are going to um, draw this arch shape with your pencil um, and this will determine you're going to trace out where the bottom edges of these bricks are. That is going to determine the shape of your arch support. So um, once you're, you've got this template, you can take your piece of paper and cut out some cardboard for an arch support. The arch support um, is gonna be how you're gonna lay them up as you're building, um, then we'll be removing this. So you will also need a little slide out piece of cardboard um, that's gonna be underneath this. So when your bricks are on here, um, they're going to be sitting on the table and on the arch support. You'll be sliding out this extra piece. This will drop down a little bit so you can slide that out and leave your bricks. So once, um, once you've got all these things set up, um, you can then build your arch. So you're going to stand that up. You're going to stand up your little piece on there. And this is the tricky part because it's going to be a little bit wobbly at first. So you're going to start from both sides and start adding, adding your bricks. You may need to hold them in place. If you need to get something to hold this from wobbling, you can. You can use a lump of clay. You can get a, a can of dog food whatever you need to hold it up while you're building, or you can just hold it up with your hands. So building, building, I'm gonna try and get to the top here. The final brick that you put in, into an arch is called a keystone. And it is 
the most important brick when you're building an arch. So this should fit in snugly. All your bricks, see how wobbly they're getting here. Um, the keystone is what holds the arch up. All that pressure from both sides will hold your arch up and keep that arch from falling down. So, um, the next tricky part is to slide out this piece of cardboard. If you try this um, and this makes too much vibration, you can also um, put a little piece of paper, thin piece of paper in there so there's not so much friction. But anyhow, I'm gonna hold on to it, pull out my little slide out piece. This drops down so it's no longer holding up the arch. And carefully slide that out. Ta-da! You have an arch. This is one of the things that uh, architects use to make a, a nice open space that can actually hold up some, some weight on top of it. I'm not going to put a lot of weight on here because it's a little bit tippy. Um, but if you had real bricks, that would be able to um, hold that up and um, you can continue building up on top of the arch. So um, the um, next step would be to take a photo of your completed freestanding arch and um, then you're going to submit that photo in Canvas. Um, the um, into the arch assignment. That's your second architecture assignment. Um, and <clears throat> so um, this, it, this assignment is done, the arch assignment, but because I'm looking ahead to the next assignment, which is to build a building, uh, the building will include um, both, um, da -da -da. Um, your next assignment is going to be to build a little small building and it's going to be using an arch and also a post and lintel, which you will have read about in the module items. Um, so I've made some posts and beams out of clay um, to get ready for my next assignment. And these are, um, these are dry now, so I'll be able to build with those uh, later. Uh, to build my next assignment. So that's just looking ahead to the next assignment, but this is the arch assignment. And good luck with that, um, and you're ready to go.